hi guys welcome back to my channel it's eki if you're new here you're welcome if you're og thank you so much for tuning in again to this video i want to show you guys how to achieve your desired makeup look even when you don't have your complete makeup products so stay tuned while i take you right into this video first off i'm going to start off with my skin prep what i would never advise you to do is to improvise when it comes to your skin prep whatever you've been doing before continue with that stick with it if it's been working for you so i'm using this cutting pad i'll be cleansing using the micellar cleansing water do your skincare routine properly before you get into the makeup proper if you've been following me for a while now you know that my skin prep routine has not changed at all it's still the same routine i follow i'm also going to let this dry down the next thing i'm going to do now is to use my tears to tone my skin like i said do not improvise on your skincare any products that i put on my skin i always let it dry down before i go in with another one do not layer in all your products at once so next thing i'm going to go in with is my moisturizer so i'm using this from omari code see how i cut it open <laughs> i'm done with this bottle uh, so it's time to bring a new one in so i just want to make sure that this is like finish to the tea. <laughs> I went into this Rimmel Steam Apps. This is a primer, so I use this to apply at the point where I produce oil the most, which is my T zone, my brow area. So I have little pearls just showing around my cheek area. So I'm blowing it with that poor professional but if you don't have this don't worry your head at all the remail steam that I use is actually enough I'm just being extra I'm using this um, this highlight from Nubank Beauty is their liquid highlight to touch the highest point of my face I just want to bring glow to that area so this is one routine I like to do right now. This gives that glow beneath your makeup. But if you don't have a liquid highlight, don't worry your head at all. What you have will do. I'll be applying this to foundation. This is from Nubank Beauty in my glow foundation. Did I say my glow? <laughs> in my skin. <laughs> I love glow so much that glow now sticks in my head. Yeah, W7 and this is W7 as well from uh, L'Oreal True Match. Shake, shake, shake. I'll be taking like two, one, two drop of this. Is it a drop? I don't even know how to <laughs> to categorize that. If it's pump, if it's drop, if it's to i don't know which whichever anyways so i'm going to take like a like one oops drop of this i'm more of yellow undertone but a bit of white undertone so that's the reason why i'm using both foundation if you notice the highlight that was left inside the pan I mixed it with the foundation. I'm using that brush that I use in applying my skin prep products to apply the foundation on my skin. Both foundations are lightweight foundation. So I'm going to leave this to dry down a bit before I blend that out. Using a damp beauty sponge to blend this into my skin. Skin. guys this foundation looks a little lighter than my skin but not to worry i'm going to contour to team that a bit i'm going to be highlighting my under eyes and i'm going to use the l'oreal true match foundation to do that i said this video is everything improvisation so this 
tutorial will be mostly for people that are working on a budget you have something in your makeup box and then you're not making use of it one thing with this foundation is that is a lightweight foundation this video i'm just going to be telling you or showing you the things that you probably have but you keep buying them over and over because i know for a fact that there are a lot of things that you might have in your makeup box that you can actually use to do some other thing but yet you be like i don't have this i don't have that i need to buy so for you to save your coin and save yourself from the stress of buying everything this is what this video is for so the next thing i'm going to do is to contour my face so i'm also going to use a foundation in case you've been using a concealer to do your contouring it's not a bad idea at all i love to use foundation because most times i notice that foundation gives me that warmth that i want for my skin other than using for, um, a concealer because i notice that most concealers do not have the undertones that i might want to use to do my contouring so this is in the shade 360 from nuban from Maybelline superstay i'm so sorry that this thing is the head i don't know anything that has to do with white foundation is always if the the cover or whatever it is is white it's always messy no matter how you 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 tend to keep it clean once you use it it will always go back to that messiness Anywhere like that. I'm going to use this brush from Vicabel in NK3 for my contour. It's an angled, it's a fluffy angled brush. I love this shade of foundation. Most times I find out that concealer do not really give me the undertone that I want for my contour. So I rather make use of my foundation. You see how that comes out very nice. I'm blending that highlight. Don't forget that this is a very lightweight foundation, so you need to use a very light hand in blending this. So I'm just using the other side that I use for blending the foundation to blend the edges. Very light hand is what you need. You see that you can get as much coverage as you want with the concealer, sorry, with the foundation. There is nothing that is not achievable. It is your mindset. I'm going to be using this powder palette from V Beauty. If you have a powder shade that is lighter than your skin, even if it's not a palette, if it's a single powder, you can use it. With this um, concealer brush to set my under eyes is in NK5. So I'm using this Bianca from this palette. I'm going to use that to set my under eyes. The setting will keep the highlighted areas in place. If you don't have a setting powder, don't kill yourself. Your face powder will do exactly that for you. The only thing you need is a good technique. The only difference with this is that the setting powder further controls oil than a face powder will control the oil. The reason why I'm making this video is because there are a lot of people that would want to wear makeup but because they feel they don't have some certain things or there are people that have enough products at home and yet they keep buying the same thing over and over like especially if you're a makeup lover you just want to try out new things if you have the money it's fine but if you're just starting off you don't need all that luxury we buy a whole lot that we don't even need at the end of the day we see ourselves not even using those things I'm using the Sweet Honey and the Bianca in this palette to set all over my skin. 
the same way i'll bake my under eyes with a setting powder is the same way i'm baking my under eyes using that same face powder next i'm going to be outlining my brows using the davis number 18 to outline my brows i love to start my outline from my brow bone follow your natural brow line guys giving that end like structure using that same foundation with a little bit of concealer from Nuban beauty i'm going to use that to highlight underneath my brows so i'm blending in that concealer with a fluffy brush blending brush i really do not touch my upper brows anymore I feel sometimes um, trying to highlight the top of your brows, you may alter it somehow. Guys, if you don't have a, a brow tint, use your concealer and tint your brows. If you don't have a brow tint, do with what you have. That is the reason for this video. Improvise use what you have to achieve what you want i'll be using this yanga beauty concealer as my eyeshadow primer so you can use any concealer at all so i'm using that same brush i use in blending out my brow bone if you have early girl pro concealer you can use that from the zulu palette I'm going to be using this shade here, this brown shade, as my transition shade. Stamp that right in here at the inner corner of my eyes and blend. So you want to blend in a circular motion so you don't have harsh lines. I'll do the same thing on this side. So the blending brush I'm using is from Bicabel in NK17. I'm going to be going into this dark brown shade. It's called the Fulani. So I'm going to use that to deepen my crease. I'll use that as my lead color. I ended up using this uh, orange shade here. I added that at the top here because I felt I had so much brown going on. So I'm going to use this glitter glue to apply on my lid because I want to use a pigment. If you have a loose highlight, that is a pigment you have there. This is a um, candid glow from Yanga Beauty. This one is in the shade O'Shea, while this is in the shade Gouda. I'm going to mix both of the shades. I'm going to go into this and this right here. Okay guys, for my blush, I'm going to go back into this eyeshadow palette for the longest time i've always been using eyeshadow to achieve my blush another improvisation i think the only time i bought blush i wasn't even a makeup artist at the time i wanted to you know be among the, the big girls that was wearing makeup with blush and then i'm going to go back into this yellow here then I'll tap that here, tap that here. If your blush is looking much, don't even freak out because blush is one thing that will wear off from your face as soon as you start running around. So this is my new way. You know, applying blush now. I go heavy handed on the blush. The next thing I'll be doing is to highlight my cheekbone. So I'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette from Lydia Stanley. So I'll be going into this 
gold coin here. You see that beam? So you can just spray this. You can use ordinary water to spray. Make sure it's not wet, it's just damp. Spray helps the brush to pick the highlight. I'll be setting the whole of my face using the Maybelline Master Fix. I hope you learned a thing or two. And you see how we use one product to achieve so many things how you can you make use of your foundation how you can make use of your highlights as your pigment if you've been contemplating oh i love that blush i like that blush you can probably skip that for now and use your eyeshadow palette to achieve your blush you want some highlight going on over there use your eyeshadow palette you can achieve anything with the products you have available you don't need to break the bank and i hope you love the outcome of this look let me know your thought down in the comment section so guys that is it for this tour thank you so much for watching if you love this video please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up leave a comment below and also don't forget to subscribe right here and ring the bell beside it so you don't miss new videos thank you so much for watching stay tuned stay blessed and stay beautiful till i come your way next time bye guys <laughs>